Welcome to RD Biology. This video is about H antigen. We are going to see what is H antigen, how it is synthesized, what is its role. These three questions are going to be answered in this video. Dear students, you are so familiar with antigen A and antigen B. These two antigens are responsible for the formation of four types of blood group that you know. Now, how these A and B antigens are formed? These two antigens are actually formed from a precursor substance. That is what we call it as H antigen. This is H antigen. This H antigen may be transformed into either A antigen or B antigen. That's why we say that H antigen is a precursor for the formation of antigen A or for the formation of antigen B. This H antigen is synthesized by a pair of alleles which are found in 19th chromosome that you should have in your mind, 19th chromosome. See, the alleles responsible for antigen A, antigen B are found in 9th chromosome, never forget it, 9th chromosome, 9th chromosome. So, 9th chromosome, 9th pair, 19th pair, these two pairs are very, very indispensable for the formation of blood group antigen. If there is any error or mutation either in 9th or 19th, you may have error in your blood group system. That you should know. This ninth pair have allele A, allele B, allele O. Whereas nineteenth pair has allele H, which is responsible for H antigen. These alleles may be found in homozygous dominant, both are dominant allele, or may be found in heterozygous dominant allele. These two type of genotype encode the synthesis of antigen H. Whereas the third one, homozygous recessive, cannot synthesize antigen H. This one remains to be seen in the next video, which is an interesting factor. Now let us take these two genotypes. Homozygous dominant, capital H, capital H. Both are dominant allele, or one dominant, one recessive, that is heterozygous dominant condition, this condition. These two conditions actually, that is these homozygous or heterozygous alleles encode and synthesize an important enzyme that is what we call it as fecocyl transferase. This fecocyl transferase enzyme is essential to carry fucose which is a monosaccharide. It carries fucose to the surface of the RBC membrane. That is the role of fecocyl transferase. The fucose, which is carried by the fecocyl transferase to the surface of the RBC, where it combines with a precursor. This precursor and fucose, these two combine together and produce a substance that is what you call it as H substance, H antigen. So what is H antigen? H antigen is nothing but the combination of fucose and a precursor. These two combine together and produce an antigen that is what you call it H. Now your question rings in your mind. What is the precursor made of? What it is chemically made of? N-acetyl transferase. N-acetyl galactosamine. What is NAG? N-acetyl galactosamine. This NAG is a monosaccharide. Which is, which is in combination with the galactose, another monosaccharide. This NAG and monosaccharide combine together, that is galactose combine together to produce a precursor substance. This precursor in combination with the fucose gives rise to antigen H. So all together what antigen H is made of? Antigen H is made of NAG plus galactose plus fucose, that's all. That is, it is made of three monosaccharides. It is a combination of three monosaccharides, that is antigen H. This antigen H, in due course of time, based on the allele found in ninth chromosome, 
it may become antigen A or antigen B. What I mean? You have H antigen in the RBC membrane. At the same time, your allele is A, which means the H antigen is transformed into antigen A. So, you become A group. You have H antigen in your RBC membrane and your uh, genotype is IB. Your blood group allele is IB. Now, the H antigen is transformed into antigen B, which means you become B group. Third point. You have H antigen. But you have allele O, recessive allele. If you have recessive allele, antigen H cannot be modified into antigen A or antigen B. So both antigens are absent, that is O group. This is what I said in the previous video. Right. Now, you know how A, A allele with H allele, you become A antigen. B allele, H allele, it becomes B group, B antigen. O allele, H antigen, you become O group, simply. If the third type, if the, if the person is homozygous recessive for H antigen, both are homozygous, these people cannot synthesize H antigen. So their RBC, does not have H antigen. If the H antigen is not found in the RBC, what will happen? What type of blood group it is going to be determined? All these are going to be answered in the next video. Till then, thank you.